it's so awkward to start. If you're new here, my name is Mia. If you've been here before, hi, welcome back. I'm so excited for today's video, but for multiple reasons. First of all, we're doing my favourite thing, which is making something cute. Second of all, oh my god, guys. So, my second most viewed video on this channel, right? I hate it. <laughs> Everyone's lovely about it. Don't get me wrong, people are so sweet. They give me far more grace than they should. But it's awful. I made like a little Urban Outfitters inspired floor mattress. It was my first ever sewing attempt and work. <laughs> not my best hour so i wanted to redo it but better and then i finally got around to it because you know we've been in six lockdowns here in melbourne so i've got plenty of time on my hands at the moment and then i realized i don't actually want a floor mattress anymore the time has been and gone that has been sullied what i did want though were well, like that urban outfit is rima floor cushions and then i was kind of like well I could probably make something like that and if I do it myself I can make it in velvet. So that is what we're doing. I would love to say that this video is going to be better than that video. It's not. Again, six lockdowns, ADHD, being stuck inside constantly. My memory and attention span is not what it should be. And somehow I have unwittingly deleted a lot of the footage for this craft. But I'm gonna persevere anyway. <laughs> uh, please bear with me. I hope you enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, drop a comment, all that good stuff. And let's get to making. So, let's tackle what we need. If you want to use my measurements, you'll need 2 meters of 150 centimeter width fabric per base cushion. I used a really pretty olive green stretch velvet. It's so cute and it only cost me 10 bucks per meter. For the top cushions, you only need 1 meter each. Um, again though, it does have to be 150 centimeters width. Naturally, you will also need a sewing machine and a lot of pillow stuffing. I bought 48 bed pillows from Kmart and they filled two base cushions and two top cushions. If someone else wants to do that math, you guys be my guest. The next steps are to mark out and cut your fabric panels. I feel like it will be easier if we do this one at a time. So let's tackle the base cushion first. I've put the measurements up on screen for you, but you need two panels that are 75 centimeters by 75 centimeters and four that are 40 centimeters by 75 centimeters. For the back cushions, again, the measurements are on screen and honestly, they're more complicated. So just pause and read it. Okay, thanks. So I realized a really easy way to show essentially how we're going to be constructing our cushion was just to lay all of the pieces of fabric out on the floor. As you can see, each base cushion, it consists of one base panel, four side panels, and then there's also a top panel that's that exact sizing that we're going to sew on once the base is constructed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess this is the point where my brain went. I see sewing machine in the thumbnail, so this must be the sewing footage and deleted the actual sewing footage. I'm an idiot, sue me. So it's pretty self-explanatory from here on in though. Sew along the seams where the sizes match up. Make sure that you're working on the non-velvet side of your fabric and on both cushions, leave one side unattached so that you can stuff them. This is a very rough illustration of what you should end up with. Once you've got those constructed, pull them in so they're not inside out anymore and stuff them with pillow stuffing. I don't know what past me was thinking. I think she just gave up on life at this point because she didn't bother to film. So I'm going to have to use footage from my Urban Outfitters mattress video, but it gives you the same idea. Basically just knot off some embroidery thread bring it up through your cushion and then back down through the same mark and that's going to create tension. Just do this four times and away you go. Finally, some footage. I know, I'm shocked too. So to create the chunky seams along the edge of the cushion, I took some embroidery thread and a hand sewed a seam roughly an inch into each edge. You can pull the thread tighter to get a more bunch look if you like. And that's it. I'm genuinely sorry for this monstrosity of a video that I've created. 
honestly i kind of want to not upload it but at the same time like the cushions turned out really cute so yeah look generally speaking my videos do make more sense than this this was a lockdown project and it shows but anyways i hope you derive some kind of enjoyment from this have a lovely rest of your day and check out some of my other diys while you're here bye